It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Amaga Brewhouse out of Denmark. And it's a bottle of the Bastard Princess Double Dry Hopped New England IPA. Coming in at 6% ABV. Sent by the fabulous Morton. Thank you very much, Morton. Uh, there's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Ho ho ho! Look at this. Fantastic, hazy New England style IPA. It looks great. For a New England IPA, it looks terrific. It's exactly what you want from the beer. It's a three finger white head. Hazy, light, very light straw coloured, stroke amber coloured beer. Good levels of carbonation. Uh, let's get the aroma. Yeah, that smells really good. Bit of pineapple coming through on this. Pineapple mixed with, remember the old fashioned tutti fruity sweets you used to be able to get? They were, they were, Oh, they were just my favorite. I don't eat sweets at all now, but when I was a kid, I always buy them in a little cardboard box or, or plastic. I, I can't remember. Anyway, these little sweets were just full of flavor, really kind of juicy, lovely strawberry, raspberry, orange, you know, that type of thing. But they were lovely, and you just get that tooty fruitiness about it in the aroma. There's a slight peppery note coming through as well, and that that might be my senses saying this could be quite bitter. But for a New England IPA, I very much doubt it. Let's dive in. Cheers. Stone the Crows, that's tremendous. That is just playing with my brain. That beer is just, I can feel my brain doing this inside my head. It's just, it's having a bit of a rattle. You know the American footballers where they got their helmets on and they, they, they smash. They smash into each other like that, and they end up with concussion and brain damage. I reckon, I reckon that beer is just, just about to give me concussion. It's so flavoursome, Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows is just grapefruity, and there's some lemon coming through. A little bit of pineapple, as I mentioned in the aroma. It's slightly spicy. It's there's a little bit of bitterness just coming through on the back of the palate, but all in all. All in all, I'm breathing hops. I am breathing hops. A little blow back there, a little, little, in England, oh, in the UK we call it a little burp. Um, just, just burping new world hops. They're just, you know, everywhere. Um, just very easy drinking as well. That slight pepperiness, that, that a little lift from the carbonation, it just pushes the beer around the back of the palate, on, the, on all of the taste buds in the, in the back of your throat, the inside of your cheeks, the top of your tongue, the top of your mouth. It's like one big flavor explosion, absolute explosion. Never really doubted it, to be honest. Amaga Brewhouse, they really, really know how to brew. A beer. They are they are, they are on top of their game. It's such a drinkable beer. It's just so just so lovely and juicy and refreshing. There's some tangerine flavour coming through. You know when you 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 can sometimes get a. It's a bit like you've peeled the tangerine. Close your eyes because you don't want to get any squirty stuff in your eyes, do you? But but just 
kind of like squeeze the tangerine and just let it drip into it's that it's all of them lovely lovely fruit bowl flavors but without there is a little bit of bitterness on the back of the palate and I think you can't get away I, I mean you do of course you want a little bit of bitterness you don't want it to be like a supercharged west coast IPA where it's about flavor and then a waft of bitterness on the back end this is just ever so slightly subtle it really is it's terrific it's a terrific terrific beer and now the story of the bastard princess so apparently it's her birthday today she's alive and well um, she's the great great uh, uh, her wait, wait there let me let me get this right now I think her great 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 grandmother was from America and she moved to Denmark and the descendant this this bastard princess she's still alive she's still she's still living in uh, Denmark and she's quite young and, and and quite you know you know you you oh I can't I can't say it anymore I, I've been a, I've, I've had a terrible time with it lately I've, I've been accused of sexism and I've been accused of of all of these kind of terrible things but you know what I'm gonna say this tongue-in-cheek I'm not saying this I'm not saying this in a, in a sexist or a me being a brute or a man from a building I'm, a, I'm I work at a building site during the day you know I'm, I'm one of these uh, one of these builders but um, I don't think I'm being sexist here but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it anyway I've never held back I've never held back and I'm not gonna start holding back take this as you want but judging by the picture, I wouldn't kick it out of bed for farting. Take it as you want, the internet. Take it as you want. I'm going to rate this. I'm going to rate this. Looks good. Smells good. Absolutely terrific, terrific beer. Wonderful stuff. I gotta give this a 10 out of 10. I gotta give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers!